morning and welcome to Preschool Storytime. My name is Miss Amber and I'd like to welcome you to Shepherd Memorial Library's Preschool Storytime. And today we're going to have a really fun day. We're going to read some books and sing some songs. And we are partnering with ECU's Big Read where they are bringing Joy Harjo, our Poet Laureate, to come visit and come um, speak at ECU later this month. And so in honor of that, today we're going to be doing a story time and all of our books are featuring authors who are indigenous. So it's indigenous voices and it's all um, books that they've written. And even one of them is by Joy Harjo. She's written a great book about a lucky cat. And so we're gonna have fun and read some fun stories and sing some songs. And we're gonna start with our song that says hello to our friends. So hello friends. And if you remember, we can just wave to say hello. And friends, we're gonna take our two pointer fingers they're gonna give each other a hug like this. And that's how we say hello to our friends. So we're gonna try singing our song, Hello Friends. My name is Miss Chris, and today I'll be reading the book, Fry Bread, A Native American Family Story. And this is written by Kevin Noble Millard, and it's illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. Fry bread is food flour, salt, water, cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar, all mixed together in a big bowl. Fry bread is shape. Hand small the dough, flat like a pancake, round like a ball, or puffy like Nana's softest pillow. Fry bread is a sound. The skillet clangs on the stove. The fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet. The bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is a color. Golden brown, tan or yellow, deep like coffee, sienna or earth. Light like snow and cream warm like rays of sun. Fry bread is flavor. See beans or soup, smell tacos, cheese and vegetables, delight in honey and jam, rise to discover what brings us together. So you can put anything in your fry bread. Fry bread is time. On weekdays and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. Fry bread is art, sculpture, landscape, portrait, our daily craft shared from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. So they're making baskets and they have dolls do you like dolls? Fry bread is history. The long walk, the stolen land, strangers in our own world. With unknown food, we made new recipes from what we had. Fry bread is place. Alaska, Kansas, all the way to Maine, down to Delaware, on to Georgia, over to Oklahoma, Colorado, and California. Cities and lands we call home.
fry bread is nation, Abenaki, Apache, Arapaho, Ojibwe, Onondaga, Agalaga Sioux, Naragnaset, Navajo, Nipmuc, Seminole, Shoshone, Sac, and Fox. Hundreds and hundreds of tribes. Fry bread is everything. Round, flat, large, small, north, south, east, west. Brown, yellow, black, white. Familiar and foreign. Old and new. We come together. Sometimes fry bread can look like the moon. Fry bread is us. We are still here. Elder and young, friend and neighbor. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Fry bread is you. The end. And then this book, it even has a recipe for fry bread. Wow. It's very similar to what something my grandma used to make. The end. Now we're going to learn a song called Take It Easy. And in this song, we're singing about some animals and about nature and where those animals live. And first, we're going to clap our hands in the forest so the deer can feel real good. Then we're going to shake our shakers in the mountain so the bears make a growly sound. And then we are going to splash our toes in the water so the fish will dance with us. So we're gonna clap our hands and shake our shakers. If you don't have a shaker, that's okay. You can just dance in that part or you can find something else that makes a sound to shake. Or you can make the sound that goes ch -ch -ch -ch, like a shaker sound. And then at the end, we're gonna splash our toes in the water and dance with the fish. So let's see if we can try this song. First, we're gonna clap. Gonna clap my hands in the forest, clap my hands in the wood. Gonna clap my hands in the forest so the deer can feel real good. the deer can feel real good. So you clapped your hands in the forest for the deer. Now next, we're gonna shake our shakers or make that shaky sound so the bear makes a growly sound. So we're gonna shake our shaker in the mountains and shake my shaker on the ground. Shake my shaker in the mountains so the bear makes a growly sound. So let's try that one. Gonna shake my shaker in the mountain, shake my shaker on the ground. Gonna shake my shaker in the mountain, so the bears make a growly sound. So some say it's easy, so take it easy for me. Gonna shake my shaker in the mountain, so the bear makes a growly sound. Can you make a growly sound? What's a bear sound like? Oh, that's a good growly sound. Now next we are going to splash our toes in the water. So we're gonna splash my toes in the water and splash my toes in the sea. Splash my toes in the water so the fish can dance with me. So we're gonna dance on this one. Let's see if we can do it. Gonna splash my toes in the water. Splash my toes in the sea. Gonna splash my toes in the water so the fish will dance with me. Oh, some say it's easy, but take it easy for me. Gonna splash, splash my toes in the water so the fish will dance with me. All right, so you guys were dancing in the water. You were splashing your toes. We're gonna go back and do the first verse one more time where we clap our hands in the forest. So let's try that one. Gonna clap my 
hands in the forest, clap my hands in the wood. Gonna clap my hands in the forest so the deer can feel real good. Alright, thanks for singing with me. My name is Miss Amber and today I'll be reading The Good Luck Cat. And this story is by Joy Harjo and the pictures are by Paul Lee. I have a cat, a stripedy cat with tickling whiskers and green electric eyes. She has the softest fur in the world. When I pet her, she purrs as if she has a drum near her heart. My Aunt Shelly from Oklahoma says some cats are good luck. You pet them and good things happen. There aren't many in the world, maybe one in millions and billions. Woogie is a good luck cat. Aunt Shelly pet her on the way to bingo and came back with money to buy us all new shoes. I pet her when I lost my favorite beaded earrings I planned to wear to the spring powwow, then found them under my bed. Aunt Shelly says cats have nine lives, but Woogie's nine lives, for all her good luck gifts, went fast. The first life went when she climbed up in Mom's car to keep warm near the motor. She nearly lost the end of her tail when Mom started the car. Her second life escaped when she followed my brother and me to school. She ran out in front of a car. I closed my eyes and screamed, but when the car passed, she was sitting across the street, licking her paws. The third life I only heard about when I got back from the grocery store. Mom told the story for weeks. She had turned the dryer on and gone upstairs. It was a good thing she had forgotten her coffee because when she came back down, who did she see spinning and yowling in the dryer window? It was the cat, oh no. The fourth life I don't like to talk about. My cousin Krista's dog chased Woogie and almost ate her. She looked like a soggy wash rag. She had to get stitches and she limped for a month. The fifth life was Woogie's own fault. She got in a fight with my cousins Megan and Ben's cat over a bird. I didn't like that about cats, but Aunt Shelly says they're born to hunt. Her sixth life was lost when she fell from the top of a tree. She was, you guessed it, hunting birds. I thought cats always landed on their feet, but Woogie landed on her head. My dad watched Woogie's seventh life fly by him as she ran after it. She was running from some boys who had hurt her in the ear. The eighth life was my fault. I wanted to take her to the powwow with us. My parents said no, and so did Aunt Shelly. But I hid her in the trunk behind her outfits, behind Ben's bustle and a box I punched with breathing holes. Then I forgot about her. Mom said it was a good thing it wasn't summer. I made it up to her with licks of my snow cone. One day, Woogie didn't come home. My cousins and I looked for her for hours. We looked in the dryer and in Krista's backyard. We looked under Woogie's hunting tree and in the trunk of the car, but we found no good luck cat. Aunt Shelly drove us all around until way past dark, as far away as the grocery store. We knocked on every door, but no one had seen her. And they put up signs that say, have you seen my cat? For four days, I missed my stripedy cat with the softest fur, the tickling whiskers, and the green electric eyes. I missed the tender drumming of her heart. Mom said Woogie must have used up her night flight. Yet every morning and every night, she called the animal shelter asking for our good luck cat. Aunt Shelly, who was losing badly at bingo, said she wouldn't give up yet. All I could think of were the boys and my cousin's dog and the motors and the highway near the grocery store. On the fourth night, I put a dish of meatloaf, Woogie's catnip mouse in her ball with the elastic string by the door. I sang her favorite song and I asked her to come home. That night I dreamed about her. Woogie, the good luck cat, ran toward me. She was smiling. The next morning, we found Woogie curled up by her empty dish and her catnip mouse. 
Her left ear was bitten, but she was purring and singing as if she had never left. This is definitely a real good luck cat, Aunt Shelley said as we let Wiggy in. She has more than nine lives. Wiggy smiled. So did I. I know Aunt Shelley is right. And this story was about the good luck cat. And you can find this book at the library. Now we're going to do a dancing song. And this song is called Shake Your Sillies Out. And so we're going to shake, shake, shake until we get all of our sillies out. So you can stand up and get ready to dance. I'm going to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. Can you shake your sillies out? You shake your body. All right, let's try it one more time. And you got to really shake, shake, shake. Here we go. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. Now we're going to jump our jumpies out. Do you feel like jumping? Do you like, do you do little jumps or great? big jumps. You're going to do a great big jump. Okay, here we go. We're going to jump our jumpies out. We're going to jump, jump, jump our jumpies out. Jump, jump, jump our jumpies out. Jump, jump, jump our jumpies out and wiggle our waggles away. Can you jump? Can we jump? All right, next we're going to, we shook our sillies out and we jumped our jumpies out. Now we're going to yawn our sleepies out. Because we might be really tired. Are you guys tired? You're not. Well, you might need to yawn a little bit. So we're gonna yawn our sleepies out. We're gonna yawn, yawn, yawn our sleepies out. Can you yawn? Yawn. Yawn, yawn, our sleepies out. Yawn, 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 our sleepies out and wiggle our waggles away. Now, I think we still need to shake some of those sillies out. So, do you still have some sillies in your fingers and some sillies in your hands? Do you have some silly feeling in your hair that needs to, we need to shake it out? So, let's get ready to shake all of those sillies out. Here we go, one more time. We're gonna shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. And wiggle your waggles away. My name is Miss Megan and today I'm going to be reading May We Have Enough to Share by Richard Van Camp. May we have enough to share, to know the sweetness of every day. May we have enough to share our homes, our food, our stories, and laughter. May we have snuggles, cuddles, sniffs, and kisses. May we have hugs to warm each other's hearts. May the success and joy we see inspire our own dreams and wishes. May we have enough to lighten each other's sorrows. May we have enough to help. May we have enough to explore life's sweet mystery around us every day. May we have room to grow and be ourselves. May we have enough to honor each other and pray for the healing of Mother Earth. The end.
Well, that was such a fun story time. We read some great books about fry bread and about a lucky cat and about families and how much we love each other. And now it's time to say goodbye. We also had fun dancing today. So you can stand up and you can dance for our goodbye song. You can twirl around, you can clap your hands, or you can just wave goodbye to your friends. So let's sing goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends.